YouTube, what's happening? You already know who it is, and you know what time it is. It's time to get them gains. This workout right here, this is a bodybuilding style workout. This workout is going to help you to get muscle, it's gonna help you to get stronger, and it's gonna help you to build more stamina and endurance. We're gonna jump right off. If you're, not, if you're not very advanced, go ahead and count this as your working set, but if you're a little bit advanced and been working out for a while, it's just gonna be a warm up. We got some simple pull ups. I don't want you to go to failure, I want you to go to probably about, say you can do 10, do about seven reps. Don't go to failure. If you can do 20, do like 15 reps. Like I say, do not go to failure. We got two sets with the regular pull up style grip. That means the palms are facing the bar, two sets. Then we're gonna take only probably like a minute rest and then we're gonna do chin ups. Chin ups is when the, your palms are facing you. And like I say, I want you to do, don't go to failure. If you can only do 10, make sure you only do seven. If you can't even do seven, go ahead and get a resistance band, tie the resistance band up, put your knee or put your foot in it. That way it helps you and assists you to be able to do the pull up so you can get the full range of motion. Like I say, on both of these exercises, we're Basically just doing them for warm-ups, get some blood so everything knows what's about to happen. Let our, let our body know that we're about to have a killer back session. Now it's time to get into some work. So what we got, you know, I'm a big fan of the T-Bar Rose. Arnold swore by it and Ronnie Coleman swore by it. And both of them are two of your most popular, greatest of all time bodybuilders in my opinion. Although Ronnie Coleman was a little bit too damn big, but that boy was strong. You know what I mean? But uh, like I said, we got four sets. Make sure on the same thing with your T-Bar Rose. If you look... Most people, what they do on a T-bar roll is they want to turn into a shrug. So instead of being parallel with the ground, they want to stand up. I mean, that's okay, but we're not going for that right now. We're more targeting our lats and the mid midsection of our back. Even though your traps and everything's gonna get in work, we're not trying to stand up and do a shrug. We're gonna do that at the end of the workout. Make sure you use your workouts correctly. That way you target your muscles. It's easy to get confused, especially when you get tired or you see a pretty girl in the gym or you see a dude that thinks he's strong and then you want to show him that you're strong. You want to just forget. You forget what you're doing. Stick to the script. Don't let people sideline you. We got four sets and we're going to stay between 12 to 15 reps. Then after we finish that, we're going to do the underhand barbell row. If you have back problems, it is perfectly fine. And I honestly, I like it as well. Do it on the Smith machine. I actually feel it better on the Smith machine, but I'm just trying to just keep everything free weight. I want it to free weight. And like I said, I'm only using 185 pounds. And the reason is I can control each rep. You see me do it for 315 pounds, but I gotta start using momentum. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to get a full stretch and a full squeeze. I'm trying to just make them muscles just get so much blood in them. Some of that good blood in them. We got three sets, and we'll stay between 12 to 15 reps. Then after we finish with that, we're gonna do a single lap pull down and superset it with just a regular forward lap pull down. What I mean by that is, you see it in the video, hold the bar up here and literally concentrate and pull at your lats. Don't pull at your bicep or you're gonna get nothing. You can see in the video how I'm literally pulling with my lats and I'm pulling down. Do not go heavy with this. I'll repeat, do not go heavy with this. We want 10 on the right side, then we want 10 on the left side. It's so good that I'm almost catching a cramp just flexing in this demonstration for you. As soon as we get 10 on both sides, go ahead and get 10 slow and controlled. I think I'm only using 100 pounds and normally just a regular lap pull down, I use like 250. And we got three sets and it's gonna be 20 total reps because it's 10 on the left, 10 on the left, and 10 forward. I really like that and we're gonna superset that with the uh, cable straight arm push down. If you like the rope, you can do the rope. I like the rope too, but for some reason when I do the rope, I feel like my triceps take some of the work. So I try to eliminate that by literally just using a, a short bar or sometimes I even use the long bar. But like I say, if your mind muscle connection is better and stronger than mine, it's perfectly fine to go ahead and use that rope. We got three sets and we'll stay between 12 and 15 reps. Remember, like I say, it's super set. As soon as you get done with your lap pull downs, go over there with the straight bar push down. Rest about a minute and repeat it three times. Then after we finish with that, we're gonna do a dumbbell pullover. <clears throat> you can do a dumbbell pullover two different ways. You can do it laying your whole body on the bench. I used to do that all the time until I built up my core strength, and now I feel a way better stretch when I do it laying T, like, like I'll make a T out of it. So instead of laying long ways, I lay sideways. So I just go right there and I'll usually make sure that the bench is right on the back side of my traps. That way I can get a full stretch and it's not putting no pressure upon my shoulders. We got four sets and we'll stay between 10 to 15 reps and every single set, make sure you add weight. 
Then after we finish with that, we'll go ahead and do some seated dumbbell shrugs. I know when you look at this video, you're probably thinking, what in the hell is he doing? <laughs> but I promise you, this right here, I was just telling one of my buddies, John, I was like, man, I feel this 10 times better than any other variation. I think the only other variation that even comes close is a heavy farmer walk. But I like to do that on my shoulder day. But like I say, we got four sets and we'll stay between 12 to 20 reps. Make sure that you really get that good stretch out in front of you and then pull back and squeeze. Man, you will see veins start popping off in your, in your traps, your back. You gonna really love this. Like I say, I, I can do like that and I can tell that I already did it, so I would definitely be sore. Then after we finish with that, we're gonna go ahead and get into some bicep work. You know, all that pulling is unnecessary to kill your biceps. Your biceps are dead. They dead, but they getting pumped. I can't wait to lean out. But anyways, like I said, we got barbell killer 21s. You know what that is? Seven from the bottom, seven to the top, seven full range of motions. We got two sets of that. And then after we finish with that, we're gonna do seated hammer dumbbell curls. I love this exercise because you could go super, super heavy. Uh, we got four sets and our fourth set, we're gonna do a drop set. So like I say, start kind of light. I think I did 30s and then I did 40s and then I did 50s and I drop set it back down to the 20s and did 20 total reps. On your first four set, uh, first four sets, make sure you get at least 10 to 12 reps, even though you're going, even though you're going somewhat heavy. Like I say, it, this is one exercise that I say it's okay to cheat. There's a couple of them, honestly. Honestly, it's okay to cheat just as long as you ain't putting your back or none of your joints in the risk of just getting injured. That's, that's what it is. We're trying to avoid injury at all costs. But it's perfectly okay to get just that amount of momentum and then like your bicep squeeze it up. But when you find out that you're just doing that, man, lead that quick. Don't do it. Don't do that shit. Like I say, that's about the perfect momentum you want. As soon as you get to about right there, go ahead and just squeeze with your biceps. We're gonna go ahead and finish it off with the curl machine. And you see how I'm doing it? I'm turning sideways and it really hits the peak of your bicep in a way that I couldn't find no other exercise to really do that. Concentration curls is kind of close, but this right there, I feel constant tension. We got three sets and keep the weight very light because we're doing 15 to 20 reps. That way we can go ahead and just get a total burnout. And that is it. it. This workout is game certified. If you're skinny, if you're new to the gym, any reason, any excuse you have, this workout is guaranteed to help you to meet all your goals, man. Like I say, whether you want to be more athletic, whether you want to be just more defined, you want to be more massive, this is how you build muscle. People get confused. Everybody want to see a YouTuber, every YouTuber, they expect every YouTuber to be a 2,000 total power lifter. That's just not realistic. You gotta keep it realistic. You're either a bodybuilder or you're a powerlifter. When you train a powerlifter, you get stronger. When you train with bodybuilding, you build muscle. You can do both of them, but you can't expect a natural uh, YouTuber to be a 2,000 pound total and then be a motherfucking shredded animal. That shit, leave that shit alone, all y'all trolls, I'm talking to you. And I be talking to Cali Muscle for always talking shit, but sometimes you just gotta talk shit to let everybody know, quit talking shit. You ain't even got no damn profile picture, motherfucker. <laughs> you. But anyways, back to the script. I'm sorry for all my loyal subscribers. Sometimes you gotta get that shit out. But like I say, I'm about to go home and eat. Actually, in this video, man, I'm gonna show you a little quick. Uh, I'm 20 weeks out, so I haven't even started my diet yet. You just seen I just did the 12,000 calorie challenge. I'm still bloated. But I'm gonna go ahead and just show y'all where my physique is right now. I'm carrying a whole lot of weight around my midsection, but that is perfectly fine because I am somewhat massive. I cannot wait in four more weeks. I officially start my prep August the 6th. Uh, Knoxville Classic, man, I'm coming in shredded. But like I say, make sure you like this video. Make sure you share it with all your friends, all your girlfriends, all your boyfriends, all your little kids' friends, all your kids' friends, girlfriends, all your school teachers. Everybody, share these videos with them and keep getting them games. Ah! Alright, I definitely need tons, and I mean tons I'm going to say it again, tons of practice posing. I'm doing it every night and I definitely got to work on it. Here I am all bloated of 200 and about 22 pounds. My stomach is awful. I definitely got to get rid of all kinds of fat and water weight. Most of my size is water weight, so that is good when it comes to cutting. My side chest, I think that's probably one of my decent poses. But like I say, it definitely needs work. I got to work on my placement on my arms try to make my uh, obliques be more noticeable all of my back spread it's i mean that's decent but it definitely needs a lot more work it's like i need help 
to be able to open up my lats. My lats are huge, but I don't know how to spread them. If you never tried, it's definitely a workout. Just just this flexing and posing, I started full blown sweating like I was working out. This right there probably be one of my good uh, poses once I finally die it down. But like I said, we got 20 weeks to practice, so it's time to make each and every session count.